Hello and welcome to... Uh, Oh, hmm. oh, come on, Dave. Hello and welcome to our podcast, <laughs> The Junkies. I lost the ability to speak. I'm Dave O'Neill. I'm Kitty Flanagan. It's the Sweet and Salty Roundabout and you're on board. Choo-choo. <laughs> and here we are, another show, and we've got some stuff coming up. Um, yeah, and just a bit of exciting news, Dave. Yes. We have been invited to go visit a chocolate factory. We've, oh. we've been invited to be Charlie and go wow. visit the chocolate factory. The people at Coded have got in touch with me. I haven't got back to them, um, but I will. Yeah. Just been a bit busy, but we do want to come to your chocolate factory, Coded people, who invited us over Instagram. I, mean, I don't want to pass aspersions, but it, uh, it, are they a big operation? Are we just going to go to someone's garage? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like- <laughs> <laughs> so long as they've got like a river of chocolate, I just want I'm- to be Augustus Gloop and just like – Lean down and just be scooping the chocolate yes. from my hand into my mouth. That's what I'm imagining. So if it's anything less than that, I'll be a little disappointed. <laughs> I'm imagining a warehouse in an industrial area somewhere. Oh, really? Like a Moorabbin or – because we're oh. in Melbourne, like a Moorabbin. I was imagining like trees made of lollipops and mm. – no? <laughs> you think I think the actual, the actual, you know, reality of food manufacturing is kind of – And like big fields of those pretzels that they then dip yeah. in the caramel and the salt. I don't know. No? You probably haven't done any of those gigs. I've done a lot of gigs in those <laughs> industrial areas because they've got breweries now opening. In some, and so you go oh. and do like a brewery. So they've just opened up all these breweries and old warehouses and, and I've done gigs there. And as I say, well, I was here anyway visiting my meth lab next door. So, <laughs> Do you so, give out cards? Like how do people get your number to get you Yeah, I give out, I've got cards. So yeah, you I'm, just give them out at every gig no, and then I'm, you just get handed – no. Like then more people just ring and more people just no, ring. No, it's it's just because you, I'll do anything anywhere. That's the whole. But how do they find you? Oh, just through different contacts. Just through, you know. What, what do you mean through different contacts? What, there's like. Different promoters, different comics. Oh, okay. Um, but you can also just hit me up on Facebook and I'll reply to you. <laughs> Even uh, now he's spruiking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Private parties. Uh, <laughs> because I'm always shocked when they uh, – well, they can say, oh, I tried to find you, but I couldn't find you. Well, just, <laughs> just hit me up on Facebook. It's like, anyway. All right. So, yeah. So, the Chocolate Factory, hopefully, we'll get happening. to go there soon. And right. hopefully, there will be a river of chocolate for me to dip my hand in. Although, that will then pollute the chocolate. So, you're not allowed to do that, I remember, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's health and safety issues. Yeah, health and safety with dipping your hand in. Keep away from the conveyor belt kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, I hope there is a conveyor belt. I hope so. I hope so. I, I hope it's not just a garage. <laughs> well, probably two garages. <laughs> no, there are five. Maybe it's some perverted sex thing. Maybe it's not the people at Coded oh. after all. And people, if someone said to me, do you want to come to the chocolate factory? It's a weird and dungeon. it means some weird sort of, yeah. Sex well, we'll be thing. together. We'll be safety in numbers. All right. I'm a big guy. I can yeah. push him over. <laughs> um, I'm not strong or anything, but, you know. All right. So we'll keep you posted with what's happening with the chocolate factory. Yeah. And we really want to go. Like, are you doing Adelaide next year? Yes. Well, I'm going to be in Adelaide doing the Fringe. Okay. Only three nights, but whatever. They're going to be, it's going to be great. Whatever. Whatever. Um, three afternoons, actually. Whatever. <laughs> five, p- <laughs> 5 p.m. shows outside. Oh, nice. In Gluttony. Whatever. Gluttony, good name for a That's venue. That's good. You finish by six and you get to have the good dinners. That yeah. Because then you'll get to go to the restaurants and you'll be able to get a table. Yeah. It's the most important thing, the meal after the show. I can come to your show and sit out at the back. I'll get a free ticket. You're like, yeah, I heard, heard all this. No, you can just stand at the back rustling, <laughs> yeah, right? rustling. and drive me mad. <laughs> me going, fuck. Fuck is that idiot? Who is rustling and whispering <laughs> through a megaphone? <laughs> I'll be sitting with Julia Gillard going, oh, she's, she's dying again, Julia. That's a callback to last week. When you... Anyway, um, and other fine Adelaide celebrities like uh, Fat Cat. He was from Adelaide. Fat Cat? Who else is from Adelaide? Oh, there's a lot of footballers, obviously, the Crows. I love Adelaide. I was the yeah. ambassador for the Adelaide um, Fringe, Fringe yeah. Festival one year. That. It was great. Great times. Um, I got to be in the parade. But anyway, the Twisty Factory is in Adelaide. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So we should okay, go we'll while we're that. there. But I don't like our chances. Oh, really? They well, don't I let d- people in? Don't let strangers in? I don't I don't know. You haven't got a Twisties contact? I do. What? Hang on. Is that? I hey, do have a Twisties contact. Is that? Is that Wayne? Yes, that's Wayne. Very good. <laughs> from PepsiCo. I thought he was from APD Snack Foods. No, no. He's from the. He's from Pepsi. He's from PepsiCo. PepsiCo his, own APD Snack Foods. Yeah, I think they. Oh, okay. I, no, he's definitely because he sent us. Remember, he sent us he the sent Twisties us all and the stuff. Smiths. No, he sent you all the Smiths. Chips. Oh no! And Twisties as well. I think they're the yeah, same. Yeah, he sent us Twisties because yeah, yeah, they're the same yeah. brand. Because he talked about our reviews and goes, yeah, he gave us a bit of a roasting on those. And that's right. Because like, we did the duos and we didn't like right. them. That's right. 
Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure he told me the fact he was in Adelaide. Nice. I haven't heard from Wayne for a while. Yeah. God, I hope he's still working there. <laughs> Sometimes those guys move on, you know what I mean? He'll yeah. ring me up and he'll go, I'm not at I'm at Bigger Cheese now. He's probably or, gone to Unilever yeah. or something. And I'm like, well, that's – Yeah. I don't know, he's probably at Colgate. In charge of like, yeah, yeah. Palmolive dishwashing liquid. Or, yeah, and all the South Pacific. You're like, well, that's not yeah. good for us. Yeah. Wayne? Can't eat that. Yeah, we want snacks. <laughs> anyway, um, well, you know, anyway, possibilities of factory tours are coming up. All right. Um, let's so if do you've it. got a factory – Give yeah. us a call. <laughs> but not – like as a kid, because my dad was a fitter and turner, we went on a lot of – we used to go on the Fitting Machining Teaching Association camps. And so because he was a, a fitting – What is it called? The fitting... A fitting and Machining Teachers Association camps, the FMTA camps. Jeez. So that's guys, who, mainly sounds... men it was, that taught – in fact, all men back then – that taught fitting and turning. And they had an association and then they used to take us on camps. It's like where they put prisoners in a fitting and turning association camp. <laughs> and we would go to like Wollongong and Aubrey Wodonga go on tours of factories, but not like dog food factories. And oh, We went to a screwdriver factory. Oh, that's not funny. So it's brutal. You can't eat that. Noisy, smelly, oh. but they loved it. Anyway, so no, oh. we don't want any factory. No, we want food, food factories. factories. Yeah. Um, someone actually said, sent me a message, who, a guy who I met who actually knew my dad through, I oh, was in the Air Force. Fitting and him. turning camps? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he said he's it's got- It's like a, where you put, remember how they do re-education camps for gay people? Yes. Like the Christians have those camps yes. where they send them and they go, this can ungay you Yeah. at a fitting uh, and turning turn camp. camp. We're going to uh, turn you straight. <laughs> I don't think they work at those camps just quietly. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think, think they, they do. <laughs> but anyway, he said he could organise a tour of the Buller Ice Cream Factory. Oh. In Colac? Colac, yeah. All right. Well, he said he could. I know some good accommodation in Colac, yeah. It's a bit of a drive, though, it's isn't it? It's about three hours, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you wouldn't stay out there. You'd drive home, wouldn't you? You love a long drive. Yeah, I'd go drive home. Well, I'd probably go to Lawn. Anyway, whatever. All right, That's yeah. The... Okay, anyway, Feature who... Act. What is it? Feature Act, I've brought you a Dr Pepper degustation. Oh. I was at the Lawson Philly Cheese Steak Factory that I mentioned last week and apart from selling Philly Cheese Steaks, they also sold a whole bunch of American lollies like Jolly Ranchers yeah. and they had a fridge full of Dr. Pepper. Do you like Dr. Pepper? I love Dr. Pepper. My kids asked me what flavour is and I said it's kind of like medicine, isn't no, it? No, it's like root beer, root sarsaparilla beer. kind of flavoury mm. things. Um, but they have Dr. Pepper all different flavours. So there's Dr. Pepper and creaming soda, there's Yum. Dr. Pepper dark berry, Dr. Pepper cherry vanilla, and Dr. Pepper, I think, which is going to be my favourite, vanilla float. Ooh, yum. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to all of them, but I thought I'd just like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one up, not tell you which one it is, and you see if you can spot okay. which flavour it is. All right. So I'm not going to send you out of the room. No, I just, I'm just, just going to make you eyes. close your eyes. Okay. I'm closing my eyes. I'm, I'm not going to Start with this one. Oh, do some ASMR close to the mic. Here we go. You know, I love Got a nice drink. glass of ice. Clear ring in this Ooh. joint. It's classy. I'll look down and Just not yet, not yet. Don't okay. don't take it yet. Alrighty. Well, you know the fourth one will be easy to guess because process of elimination. Okay. Yeah. All right. I want you to taste this one. Tell me what you can taste. Ooh. Oh. Go from the smell. Really? No. I was just getting Dr. Pepper. Oh, yum. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's got vanilla in it. Mm-hmm. Is that vanilla float? It isn't. Mm. But what else tastes like vanilla? We've done it before. What's well, a classic soft drink that tastes like vanilla? We both love Creamy it. Creamy soda. Yes. That is Dr. Pepper and creaming soda. Not bad. It's pretty good, isn't it? That's good because it sort of knocks out the medicine-y kind of taste that I don't really like. You don't like Dr. Pepper? No, I don't mind it, but I, I would never buy it. Yeah, right. I love it. Mm. It's, it's one of those ones I've I've said before. If you're feeling a bit um, low before a gig, if you've got a cold or a sore throat or a stuffy head, yeah, you heat up um, you heat up a glass of coke in the microwave, thirty seconds, and drink hot coke. Or you can do it with Dr Pepper as well. Dr Pepper's even better. Wow! If you can get your hands on some Dr Pepper, microwave it and drink it hot. Or you get a sugar rush. It clears mm. your head for about forty minutes. Wow! All right, don't keep drinking. You've got a lot more to go. Mm. There, now, you'll have to self-strain that because yeah, I don't want you to lose your ice, but no, that's your slops bucket. Tip it in there. I've done this before. Oh, no. He's going to get all his hand. Oh, no. No, this isn't going to go well. It's on the table. Oh, no. I'll wreck you mid-century. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was a bad idea. I'm going to get you. Don't Stop touching things. I'm going to get you a napkin. It's not too bad. It's not too much spillage. Oh, I don't care. 
I'll find a, I'll find a better way to do this. This doesn't work. You would have been a good air steward. You know oh, that? Man. That was horrible to watch. Okay, what do we got next? All right. Yeah, Close I'm, your eyes. Yeah, I'm closing them. Don't worry. Close your eyes. I've got another one coming. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. What's that song tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Young That's Talent Time. Young Talent Time. Good night, Australia. Mm. I love the sound of fizz. Just for the taste of it. So th- again, I, I have my eyes and they all look the same. They're all dark. <laughs> oh, that's even stronger though. That's like Ooh, a strong. Oh, that's like they've doubled down on Dr. Pepper. Oh my God. Is it the berry one? No, no. it's not. Oh. No, <laughs> that's not the Coke float. So oh. what was the third one? It tastes like a lot. Oh, like- yeah. You sorry. got it? I looked at it. It's cherry. Cherry. Cherry Coke. Yeah. So it's cherry vanilla flavor. It's not very nice, that one. But I don't it, like cherry coke either. Yeah, if you like cherry, it's all right. Yeah, mm. that's, cherry's the one fake flavour I don't really like because oh. it tastes like ActiFed CC. Oh, I, I, in England you can get cherry drops, like a hard boiled oh, lolly yeah, in a packet. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're nice. I love them. Yeah, but this cherry flavour, no. the imitation cherry flavour they put in drinks always tends to taste yeah. like um, that, medicine. That tastes like medicine. That's like medicine. Dr Pepper doesn't taste like medicine, but cherry oh. does. Yeah. Okay, don't you tip it out. Give it to me. I could do what you just did. No, you couldn't. I watched you. Kitty's the ultimate host, everyone. Yeah. Can't wait to have a dinner party over here. Except there's only room for four people at a seat. We, we, oh, oh, it's one of those. No, I don't care. I couldn't, I couldn't care less if you touched it. You should see me. You should see me cook. <laughs> She the, cares. In the land of... She cares. Absolutely cares. Okay, close your eyes. I'm closing them. I'm closing okay, I'm them. going for another one. Ken always says, would you like to come over for dinner? Yeah. I said, well, she's a vegan though. What, what, oh, come on, cook? just vegetarian. I wouldn't be vegan if I came okay. to your house. Right. Well, I don't know what vegan stuff I cook. Vegetarian, Oh, I we said. cook vegetarian stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to cook vegan for me. Just cook vegetarian. You come on Monday for Meat Free Monday. I I come, yeah, I come for pesto. We, oh, yeah, well, yeah. I but know pe- pesto. Yeah. Sure, you can do something better than pesto. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to cook vegan. You know, we could have a really I just have vegan sweet. at home, but I'm vegetarian when I'm out. Yeah. Because I don't want to annoy people. You want to be husey. No. No, I'm vegan. Okay, um, you can open your eyes now. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to a blind a man blind sitting person. there with your eyes closed. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh. Is it the... Do you think? Is it the, I don't mind that. Is it the berry yeah. one? Yeah. I don't mind that. Mm. A bit medicine-y, but not bad. It's nicer than cherry vanilla. Yeah, not bad. So far in the rankings, I'd I'd put berry above cherry Someone vanilla. Someone gave me that one, didn't they? Someone gave me that berry one, I think. Was it? Yeah, yeah, you said someone, someone gave it to you in Canberra. Yeah, I think it was Bron. And I don't have to. I don't have to stop. C- stop trying to boss me around. I'm I'm the host. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I didn't do it. Yeah, come over for dinner. Do you like teenagers fighting? Did it entertain you or? <laughs> oh, I would love to hear them having a discussion. You're gonna meet the cats. Yeah, I want to. I want to meet the cats. Oh, I want to yeah. have dinner with the family and hear all the uh, fights, the political arguments. Oh god, yeah. do you really know? Um, there you go. So this is well. We know what this mm. one is because this is the last. Oh, one I smell one. that. Yeah, I save the best till last. Oh, vanilla float. <laughs> That's a, that's not bad. That's that's pretty nice, but to me that just tastes like um Dr Pepper. Mm. And I love Dr Pepper. I think out of all of them, the creamy soda one was the best. Do you? Okay. I think that's second though. I don't mind that. Mm. And I go berry, and then I go last cherry vanilla. Mm. Yeah, cherry vanilla loses. Not bad. In well, um in Greece, I think it was when they go to the um or maybe it was no, I think it was Greece when they go to like you know the. The soda fountain shop, yeah, the, the pop shop or whatever it's yeah, called. Yeah, like in Happy Days. And they sit there and they order a cherry Coke float. Oh, yeah. And I think it was Coke but with cherry ice cream. Oh, yeah. Or might have been cherry Coke with chocolate ice cream. But mm. I always remember like, just being fascinated by the orders when they were ordering what they wanted. I was like, oh, I would love all those things, but we don't have them in this country. Where did you see it then? It was in Greece. You a were- movie. Oh, I thought you meant Greece the country. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> I just naturally assumed that you would know. Right. Of course, that's so stupid. Yeah, of course, that sounded much much more like Grease the Country. <laughs> Grease the movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant Grease the movie. Right. Oh, I remember that. I, I, yeah. We all wanted to go to those places. <laughs> yeah. Those diners. Yeah, but they were ordering, um, you know, she comes over with a little pad and he goes, a chocolate cherry Coke float or something. It's like, oh, man. That sounds great. So many good things. You love that more than the romance. Oh, mate. You know. Just run it back and watch that over and yeah. over again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care about Sandy and Danny. Oh, God. Or Rizzo and Kanicki. Rizzo. <laughs> right. um, that, well, that was great. Um, I would recommend uh, two of them. Yeah, so Dr. Pepper, get some and don't forget to self medicate with a hot Coke or a hot Dr. Pepper, people. There we go. We'll do blind tests next. Yes. Why not? Time for blind test. Oh, I think Kitty's just slammed the door. Um, the dog's are looking around. Okay, this is actually the same brand we should got with those um, lemon, uh, thyme, and gin. This is Margarita Salsa. Hey, I always think of that Jimmy Buffett song, Sail on the Way in Margarita Town. Margarita Town? Um, yeah, Margarita Salsa. So it's going to be quite hard, I reckon. I, I hope we haven't done this before. I'm getting a bit of deja vu. Okay, sorry about the rustling. Oh my god! Yes! They smell great actually. Oh. Okay, come in. Come back. Oh, yeah, I know the dogs came to greet you. Oh, Sarge, the cat's here. Here she is. The, the spittoon. The sp- spittoon. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a ship or somewhere. Come on, Sarge. Get into it. Ooh, look at these. Yeah. They're- wow. They're very orange. Aren't they? Okay. It looks like a kettle chip. Yeah. Ooh, strong smell. Mm, it smells like smoked paprika. There will be paprika in there. Oh, my God. It smells like it's going to burn. Am I right? Have you given me another burn no. chip? No. You don't sound confident. Oh, it smells burny. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, interesting. Gee, I don't know what that flavour is. Very weird. Okay. It's kind of a little bit cumin y. Yeah. Like there's yeah. cumin in it. There would be cumin in it. Um. There's cumin. I reckon there's probably paprika just because of the colour. Yeah. So. Oh, there's a little bit of burn there. Is it from a particular country? Like, is it a type of cuisine? Um, it's or not. not? A, yeah, it's not a cuisine. Not a cuisine. Oh, okay. They're from New Zealand, but it's not really a New Zealand thing. Mm. And we had. This same brand last week that you gave me. Heartland. It's a Heartland chip. Okay. And so on that theme, it's a similar theme, if you know what oh. I mean. Oh, so is it a beverage? Yes. Well, that's weird because it tastes like some sort of spice. Yeah, it's a very spicy beverage. It's not supposed to be like a... Um... Oh, is it a beverage or is it more a sauce? It's like a cross between a... It's got... Is it Worcestershire sauce? No, no, no but it's 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 got a, a drink and then it's got like a sauce okay. put together. So hang on, is it a Bloody Mary? Uh, no, sort of close, yeah, close. But what I know really? of this drink, um, is it drink. is it vodka? No, no. I mean, vodka's it's got some got no kind taste, of it's got some but... kind of uh, alcohol in it. Really? It's, yeah, yeah. It's got like a powder of an alcohol. So and it, it's a drink. Where a you spirit. Drink. Yes, it's a drink where you drink, and um, it's like I think it's viewed as a party drink, but then it's actually then turned into a sauce. If you know what I mean, it's like a it's a drink, and then it's a sauce kind of thing. It's weird. But it it's so savoury flavoured. Yeah, but what's yeah? You you're on the b- ball when you say 
Bloody Mary because what's in the Bloody Mary? Tomato juice. Yes. This has got tomato in it. Okay. So that's why they're orange. I may have led you astray with saying it's a drink because hmm. it's actually a drink that's been turned into a sauce. But I know it is a drink I'd... when people order it. I'll have a... Dave, you, at the moment you sound like someone who doesn't speak English as a first language. <laughs> 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 You're really struggling. I with... am. It's really, it's really, it's really, it's really confused me. To be honest, <laughs> I'm like, I just immediately thought it's a drink. Then I'm looking at the packet, going, "That's that's half a sauce and half a drink." <clears throat> Show me. It's margarita salsa. Oh, so you okay. know what I mean. Margarita's a drink. Well, yeah, but that's like a margarita pizza flavor. Oh, is that what than... you reckon it is? Yeah, because it tastes like. Tomato sauce, like as in astray. pizza. It t- that's, that's basically pizza sauce. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, but it's got. It's not a drink, <laughs> but it's got tequila powder in it. Well, I guess. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's margarita. No, I think you're right. I can't even think about the pizza. It's more like margarita pizza flavor, though. Yes. I think. Although, but to be fair, Dave, there is a lime on the front, which is one of the main ingredients of of a margarita. Margarita, but then there's a big old tomato, and there is no tomato in a margarita. No drink. Oh, there's no tomato in margarita drink. No, no. It's just tequila and lime juice. Ah, oh. but that it's sort of confused. Yeah, you, you can see why I'm confused. Yeah, it does taste like pizza sauce. It does flavored chips. I love margarita pizzas too. They're not that bad. They're not bad. That's Confusing. a lie. I don't know why I ate that. It's not even good. Confusing. I wish I could, where's, that, where's that spittoon? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is exciting for Dave because I've managed to find a twisty, a new flavoured twisty. And the flavour is cheese toasty flavoured twisty. Now, heads up, I actually broke into these and tasted them because I thought they were going to be so delicious. I was wrong. Anyway, I'll get Dave back in. Just a bit of rustling. Hang on. All right, Dave, come back. Look what I've got for you. Oh. It's a twisty. You know, it's a real twisty too. It's like actual twisties, new flavour. You might have seen it. I hope not. God, they're very yellow. Do you think they are? I think they're very pale yellow. Like usually... They look like a chicken flavored twisty color rather than cheese flavored twisties are orange usually. Aren't yeah, they? you're right. So it smells like some sort of cheese. Yeah, correct. I go. I can't get a handle on that. No, they're really weird. To me, they taste a bit off, like cheese gone off. And I'll just tell the listeners at home, Dave is really committing. He's putting four in his mouth. He really wants to get these right. <laughs> Tastes a bit of butter, kind of. Oh, well done, Dave. Points. Yeah, butter and cheese. I'll tell you what, when not, he focuses. It's not fondue. No, but you just if you had one more ingredient, you'd have this thing. What would you put? Butter, you know, cheese, what else would you need? And you'd have a meal. Or you'd have something to eat at least. Butter, oh, bread. Yep. Oh, it's a cooked cheese or something. It's a cheese toasty. Oh, oh, God. But I don't think they're very good. You're eating a lot of them. I just love twisties, but <laughs> you can't keep eating more and more. You're thinking you're going to get that twisty rush. but Well, that's what I kept doing. See, I opened these because I thought, oh, these are going to be like cheese, like double down cheese. You know, like I thought they'd be even cheesier than a cheese twisty. They're less cheesy. They're less cheesy. And they're a bit buttery. And the butter is what is making them taste a bit off, I think. They sort yeah. of taste a bit like... Cheese and sick. God, I hope Wayne's tuned in again. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to get to visit the hope Twisty Factory. Oh, he hasn't moved to Colgate. Um, but yeah, I reckon cheese and sick is what they taste like. Yeah. Mm, bit school baggish. <laughs> and, I, and I just kept going at them, a bit like you there, thinking, oh, surely any minute now this delicious cheese toasty flavour is going to kick in, but it never does. You think it's going to all happen, don't you? Yeah, doesn't happen. I'd still eat them, you know. Would you? Yeah, uh, probably. I wouldn't uh-huh. buy them, but if well, you, you can take those home. You gave them to me. Well, I will give them to you. You, you, you know got that. a party pack too. Yeah, that was all they had. Oh well, you know, good on for trying something new. Well, really. But why don't they just? I mean, they. You know, one of the original uh, twisty flavors when they did a a diversion was barbecue. They did barbecue twisties. Oh yeah, were that'd nice, be good. But that was years ago. 
But they should also like, mate, why don't they do a honey soy chicken twisty? Oh, I hope, they, I hope Wayne's listening. I mean, just, you know, just, stop calling people like Colin Fastnidge and yeah. give us a call if you want some flavour ideas. Exactly. We're a machine. We are. Ideas machine. <laughs> <laughs> machine that breaks down occasionally. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, coming up, we've got a uh, couple of things for here in a year. Yeah. Let's do it. Question mark. All right, so we're going to do here in a year. Question mark. I found one, you found one. Yeah, so you've brought in the um, Lifesavers, who we know are just attacking the shelves at the moment, throwing everything at it. They're going crazy. Trying to be the new Allens. They've brought out duos, two-headed snakes. So these are snakes that look to be three colours, would you say? So they've got two heads. Oh, yeah, two heads and a colour in the middle. Or in this case, just (laughs) one (laughs) colour. Oh, well, that one's a bit... That's sort of red and orange. God, I'm sorry, Alan. Oh, you, you just got a yellow it's one. It's just another bag of disappointment from Lifesavers. Okay, well, that one's... That one's at least purple and green. Purple and green. Okay, let's try it. I'll try the All orange right. and red. Well, we know I don't like purple. I'll try the green. I like the texture. Yeah. It's good chewiness. You really have to bite through it. There's, you know, there's a lot of resistance there in the jelly, which is always good. Mm. The flavours are blending into one another, though. Well, I just tried a bite of green. It didn't really taste like green, like a green snake from Allen's Wood. I'm going to try yellow and red. I'll try the purple now. Hang on. Oh, yeah, okay, purple tastes like purple. Don't want that. Yellow. Oh, yeah, yellow tastes like yellow. Yeah. It's like a pineapple y. Mm hmm. I'll try some yellow. Now I'll try the red bit. Well, my prediction is no. I don't think they'll be here in a year. I don't think they'll be here in a year. No. Sorry, Lifesavers. No. But They're not bad. Yeah, but if you're going to have a concept like two headed snakes, duos, and then on the pack you advertise that they're. Three colours in one snake. I mean, look at that. That says it's yellow, purple, and green. That says it's yellow, red, and purple. Now, I've pulled out a full yellow, a full, full purple, purple, and a mildly multicoloured purple and green. But yeah. there's not three colours in any of these. No. It's a bad lesson for kids learning their colours. It's not, it's not good advertising. That's false advertising on that packet. Oh, lifesavers. Yeah. Mm. But good texture. I'll give them texture. Yeah, the texture's not bad. But, you know, is that going to get you across the line? You're competing with Alan's, the original snake. Yeah. Snake's alive. I don't alive. think it's enough. Here in a year? I don't think so. No. All right, next up, I've got some white chocolate M&M's, oh, Dave. Oh, yum. So, two Love of your M&M. favourite things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at your hand. My it's hand's itching. reaching out. It's like reaching that. out for them. I'm going to try and talk about them and Dave's already reaching to I'm get reaching them. All right, across. here you have some. <laughs> they're kind of big. They're like a peanut yeah. size. They're like those ones, peanut butter ones. Oh. Ugh. Oh, no. They taste like sick. No. What no. happened? I don't think even here in a it's month. A, it's not a great milk chocolate, is it? Not a great white chocolate. Oh, God. It doesn't even taste like white chocolate. You just kind of go, I don't <laughs> know what that is. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, no, oh, that's I love no him. good. <laughs> what are they done? Mm. Is that from some weird country? Not a weird country, but just not. You mean a weird... foreign country, Dave. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they like made somewhere that we go, whoa, is that why they taste a bit weird? The chocolate's no. not No, well, yes. Yes, they're from America. Okay, yeah, that's it. So, and weird that's country. the other, here's the other problem with them. Corn syrup. Oh. Anytime you flavour something, you sweeten something with corn syrup, it's never going to be good. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty disgusting. They're no good. Such a great idea. Here in a year, Dave? No, not here in a day. <laughs> That's not going to be here in a minute. It's going to be in the bin. They're well, finished. No, that, we're not finishing on that. Oh. We're finishing on a sweet, sweet memory jogger. Ah, so how do we say it again? Sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet memory jogger. I think someone gave me these. And they're white rabbit and they're a creamy white lolly. They're a Chinese lolly. Yeah. And, and we think... They used to be kind of served to you sometimes at a Chinese restaurant. I think so. I definitely remember eating them. Like a little plate would come out yes. with the bill. The and white put rabbits. Down four white rabbits. So we're going to see if they are indeed 
a sweet, sweet memory jogger. I imagine they're going to taste like a Milko. Oh, I love Milko. Oh, such a cute wrapper. Do you think they'll taste like a Milko? Yeah. They look like a Milko. Yeah. Little white rabbit oh, on the God, packet. Oh, they smell like petrol. God, if we have another lolly now that tastes like sick. Oh, are they wrapped in rice paper? So you're supposed oh, to eat the paper? God. No, no, no. I think you're supposed to eat it. Mm. Oh, no, they're not bad. But do you eat that paper? Oh, God. oh I yeah. Know. I can't even taste it. Man, wait, it takes a while. Mm. It's subtle. Oh, okay. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, it could be a while. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's like a nice, really hard milko. They're good. Mm. Hats off to China. Mm. I mean, they get a lot of bad press. This could be the thing that bridges the gap between yeah. the countries. <laughs> the white rabbit lolly. they got a hint of plastic about them. Maybe that's the wrapper we're eating. <laughs> 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 Do you think maybe it's like, remember when they put melamine in the baby formula? Maybe the yes. they put melamine in the, uh, in the lollies. What's the ingredients? Maltose, white granulated sugar, whole milk powder, butter, weird, food additive, Gelatin, vanillin, edible glutinous rice paper, so we could eat that bit. Edible starch, water, emulsifiers. I didn't mind them. Yeah, pretty good. They're they good. taste like a milko. Yum. Not bad. Mm. And what I like about them is, gee, they last. Oh, man. I'll still be chewing this when you're on the way home. They'll, they'll, um, they must give one out in the factories, one, one per hour. Mm. That's what you're getting, guys. <laughs> the Nike factory. People making all those Apple, Apple phones. Apple products. <laughs> Mm. Well, I would, I would. Uh, that's a great memory jogger. Well, here in a year, I think you know, here for the next cultural revolution. Yes, <laughs> thanks, China. Well, Good thanks one. for listening, guys. Mm. Um, we'll be out next week. Uh, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're not doing: skittles. <laughs> uh, skittles. Yeah, they keep. Sarge is staring at me now. Mm. Um, well, thanks for listening and thanks for having me as your host in your house. Yep, thanks everybody. I'll be um, taking us out with some chewing of my white rabbit. Mm. There we go. The my favourite thing, chewing on the mic. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.